I'm looking for the Bucks in an upset without Paul George in the lineup. Mm, okay, I see you calling the game right there. Speaking of calling the game, we will send it out right now. I do love to see it because it was earlier in the season him passing up those shots that may have cost him his spot in the rotation. Zoo misses inside, second effort not there, grabs on the third effort. I do love to see it because it was earlier in the season him passing up those shots that may have cost him his spot in the rotation. Zoo misses inside, second effort not there, grabs on the third effort. I do love to see it because it was earlier in the season him passing up those shots that may have cost him his spot in the rotation. Zoo misses inside, second effort not there, grabs on the third effort. I do love to see it because it was earlier in the season him passing up those shots that may have cost him his spot in the rotation. Zoo misses inside, second effort not there, grabs on the third effort. Zoo misses inside, second effort not there, grabs on the third effort. And now Kennard probes inside, challenges Lopez, bounces to Zoo, and finally shoves it in. Leonard has a hard time holding on to it, finds Jackson in the corner for three. Zoo with another offensive rebound, the Clippers reload. Well, that doesn't seem fair. There's Thanasa, that's Chris Middleton, beg your, beg your pardon. Thanasis, uh, the brother of Giannis, is out there. He played a lot of minutes in their last game. We'll talk about it in just a bit, but he looked very... After the Bucks opened up the first quarter, shooting 68% from the field. Look inside the zoo, whistle, offensive foul, and it becomes the fourth turnover for the Clippers. The previous three... After the Bucks opened up the first quarter, shooting 68% from the field. Look inside the zoo, whistle, offensive foul, and it becomes the fourth turnover for the Clippers. The previous three tries to back down on Forbes. Good ball movement for Coffee, a whistle. Oh, and that hurts as the three goes. It'll be three second violation. Giannis hands to Forbes, lets it fly from the mid-range. His shot chart is all green except around the rim. Lob to Zoo, skips it to Morris. Misses on the three. Misses on the three. Abitza comes away with another offensive rebound. Feeds to Mann, hangs inside, reorganizes in mid-flight and lays it in. Coffee uses... Zubats as a barricade now feeds the big fella going to work on Lopez. How about the off-handed hook shot by Evita Zubats? Around the NBA on a very busy Monday night. Last week or so in the NBA, I don't know which one do you guys think makes the big impact in terms of the buyout market. They shot 68% in the first quarter. Lopez into the paint, leaves it short. He takes more threes on the season than he does shots. On the mismatch, it's Zhu going up against Connaughton. Rolls to the rim, blocked by Giannis. Giannis looking inside. Good defense by Zhu. Leather Larceny. Here comes Mann back the other way. Have him as the front runner. After the turnover, here come the Bucks. Giannis colliding with Zhu. A whistle will send Giannis to the line for a couple of free throws. Swings it outside to Kennard. Now Jackson. Driving down the lane, challenges Lopez. Rebound volleyed around, goes to Zoo, and he lays it in. Swings it outside to Kennard. Now Jackson, driving down the lane, challenges Lopez. Rebound volleyed around, goes to Zoo, and he lays it in. Getting to open spots and then making the correct pass. Tough shot by Giannis. A whistle will be called on Zoo. And maybe I'm biased, but I think Evita Zubats might be the most underrated defender in the NBA. Tries to show off his offensive chops and misses at the rim. 